Okay, continuing. It's like, I don't know, five, six in the morning. It's Saturday now. I'm either going to stay up right through, get my second win, and be mental, or uh, I am going to pass out and be absolutely worthless for the weekend. And I'd, I'd rather be up and sleep six hours the next night than sleep and just have to be in bed 12 hours because I can get no more than three hours sleep a day. And it just ruins everything. I don't want that. Okay, we turned around because my panther's on the move over here. And he's looking at something. And I don't know if I want to shut that light or not. Hey, these guys, they're going to look at this. Mm, what are we doing, boys? Mm. Well, I need one boy to sit on my feet. And one boy to sit by my hands. And you need to purr and love me. Look at him. And make my, my, and heal me. Scientifically proven that a cat's purr can heal inflammation. I need like five more cats. Can I ask what's going on at the window, chicken? Mm -mm. Why? I don't want you doing that, honey. I gave you a pillow seat right there. That's for you. I made that for you to look out the window. You don't have to climb like Spider-Man. Just go in your pillow seat. You know what it is. That's for you, baby. I'm going to go to the thrift store. i get you another one. What do you want? Don't knock any of that down. That, that's when I look at that photo bomb. <clears throat> right to me. Good boy. Is he not brilliant? You are an angel. I get really wicked busy. It just went tenfold on my mother's birthday and hasn't stopped. I think that's why I'm so dizzy. Did the whole experiment? That was a flashlight. And I call that a diamond sparkle or a, a flashlight. He knows to look in the... He's been obsessed with the mirrors today. I think because they're clean. Oh, how sad is that? I cleaned the mirrors. He's like freaking out. Mommy lost the Windex, baby. <laughs> Yes, I did. It could be anywhere. It could be in a time loop, another universe. It could be in one of those drawers. I don't know. It could be anywhere. It could be in the freezer. I don't know. He is, like, hyper aware today. I see them with my, my eyes going right there. I got to tell you, I could see a lot of shit with my every day more and more and more and more and more. And I think that's why, in reality, in real life, when I'm talking to a friend or whatever, colors are outstanding. My vision is 2400 without glasses, and I have astigmatism and post-polymorphic dystrophy. Um, I've reversed any signs of glaucoma that is real bad in my family, and uh, no, the post-polymorphic dystrophy has not progressed in any way. Um... And in a way, that's kind of like healing itself. A doctor said my eyes got better. That doesn't happen, so that's a miracle. And uh, what is my point to tell? Oh, so I question what I see, I guess. And But when we go through a shift or a change, I, a shift, a shift, I, I, it's a shift or ascension, I, uh, I kind of can't see. I could see colors like a miracle. But it's like looking through rose-colored glasses or or a, a lace veil. The colors are brilliant, but still, kind of maybe that's all I could see are just the colors. Everything else is like looking through a gray screen. The TV can't be bright enough. Um, might right there, see? It really causes a lot of difficulty. Um, when I go to turn on the sink and miss, bang my fingers, my hand blows up. It's that kind of thing. I really can't see shit. I don't like it. I used to have dreams like that when I was little. And then I have days where I can't hear anything. And I put max volume on everything. I mean, I could tune out the ringing. I, I'm learning how to work with all of that. But I don't mind the ringing, to be honest with you. Um... It alternates. And then when I don't have the days where everything is so difficult to hear, 
And I go turn on, you know, uh, Netflix or something, and I go, oh my God, I cannot believe I had it that loud. I mean, it is that extreme. So yeah, I question what's mine, what's in my body, what am I empathically carrying, what is shift. And you got to sit through all that and live your life, take care of your kid, buy your but I just wanted to, and, and if there are messages to be heard or told here, how can I not do this? And pray and give thanks. I'm grateful every day. And um, this is addicting. I will tell you that. I would love to go get me a camera, you know, specifically that, um, well, I, this, I guess, picks, I guess any digital picks up orbs, but it hurts. It hurts to hold. I got to find a way to make this easier, to get more memory, to not use up all the memory on my phone, and to do it affordably. I'd like to, and not have a shit product that breaks in two weeks. Pink, five minutes, 58 seconds. That was the pinkest pink ever, like yesterday. Second time since the butterfly incident, my, that beautiful pink butterfly, and that had, was around Christmas. Pink means um, a loved one who has passed has a message for you. Now, if it's I love you, I already know that because I love you more. But having said that, I hope it's not Joan. Go get a checkup. I have a doctor's appointment on Thursday with primary care. I am de dental issues are bad because whatever's going in your mouth could travel to your body. That is always at the back of my mind. I do go for blood work all the time. Nothing came up. And then I think, you know what? Maybe they missed shit because, well, you saw they missed the strokes, right? So I don't know. And, you know, you get warnings if there's something that you need to look at. And you got to be able to read the signs. So... The colors are bright and beautiful, and they're all of love. Now my ears just went tenfold again. They're really loud right now. And I've been feeling red like crazy, like red, everything red. I've been feeling red. I feel red a lot around Liam, but it's really good, a good red. And then I'm feeling pink. It's funny I'm getting the pink orbs because I feel colors. And pink has just been a, like I'm in a pink bubble. And then I don't give a shit that I'm seeing great film. It's pretty kind of awesome. So I've been doing pixel art and all that stuff, and I just I can't get enough pink. I took a pink. It's, everything's been pink, and pink is like the cherry blossoms. I saw some up here. Ah, see. And it's the number sixty nine. I don't know why it's a pastel pink, and it's a mother's love, it's strength, pure, and it's female. Not because it's pink. It's it's feminine. It, it, it's feminine, and it's it's a it's a a mother, only a mother can have that strength and love. That's what the, that is. That's what the pink means. And um, so it's my mother. Maybe because I'm just trusting more and just finally accepting what I see and accepting that this is a gift. And um, then these intelligent beings can be a little bit more profound or because they know where you are mentally because they're pure energy and they're pure love. So they show a little more, they come a little off, and they say answer a little more quickly. I guess you both, your light go, grows brighter together, I'd like to think that. And I want to do that for everyone, too. How can I be that for everyone? How can I make their light grow brighter? So I hope the videos do that. Talking about, you know, my life, my pains, what I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, but all the joy and love that I have, and... How funny things are, like trying to do your laundry in the toilet bowl. Yeah, that's funny. That's real. You can't make that shit up. I, again, I, I choose to laugh because it's, some of this shit is just so ridiculous but so miraculous. What else can you do but laugh and have gratitude? For the worst of it, I am grateful. I really, honest to God, it's taken me a long time to get to this place. And I, part of that, getting here, it was not just being Catholic and Jesus and, and my, my affinity for him and my just wanted to walk. I saw something again, nine minutes, 30 seconds, like a, a green blob. You know, he could walk on water and he could heal the lepers and ants. I always thought, you know, what what is money without love? And I think I almost, in most of my life, allowed myself to not have so that I could show that I am humbled and willing to work. And I don't want to do that. I don't think God wants us to not have. There's enough for everyone. But um, I want to say 
the Buddhism has kind of brought it home. There are things that are said in, in, in the study and taught that I had to come to an understanding. It's taken me five years, and it's taken me two or three years after the strokes to really be able to embrace this practice and do it daily because I have to understand it. I got to know why he says the Buddha says what he says, how many Buddhas there are, why it happens with this rich Indian man. You know, the story is just... <sighs> try to put yourself in the Buddha's shoes. Those, I just, you know, who the hell am I to complain about shit? Jesus died on the cross. Buddha almost lost his head. What they, they gave him everything to attain enlightenment. Talk about commitment to teach the world love, peace, and... So, who am I to do anything less? That's all I'm saying. Okay, I am now freezing. This room is colder than my bedroom. I'm going to do a few Nami Rangi calls. Maybe I did do some. Uh, going to ice myself. And going to put on some, either a movie, some loving music, or a meditation. Flash the light over here. And uh, hopefully drift into a beautiful, maybe, I don't want to say astral sleep, but... I have a lot of fun in my dreams. I dream in cartoon and black and white. I can breathe underwater. Closed captioning. I think I've said this before. I could walk up to a mirror, walk through it. I could walk into a photo, hang out with Jesus. My dreams are a lot of fun. But I haven't had a fun dream in a really long time. So maybe it'll happen now. I'm due. I'm overdue. I don't get my nails done. I don't go out for a wax every week. I don't have a car. And I don't really care that I don't have a car. I don't go. This is not New York City. It's not Brooklyn. It's not Queens. I'm not hitting the clubs. I'm not going to drag shows. I'm not going to go drink at the VFW, believe you me. I'd rather have my friends here and and uh, cook, make dinner, have movies. But just, you know, talk, discuss, enlighten each other. Books. We love books. Books are awesome. Me and a friend could just sit with books three days in a row and be totally okay with not saying a word to each other or... Wisdom, knowledge, wisdom, knowledge. It's so cool if you have somebody like that in your life. And if that could be a loved one, like a love partner who you marry or... I've never had that with a love partner. With people in my life that I love, and it's always been women, but never with a love partner. Um, so, you know, it, 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 I'm not that I'm not willing to, but I feel like my heart is so full with my pets and my daughter and my sisters and past life people that are returning to me like a lot and there, there's such goodness in, in so many people when there's so much ugliness standing right next to them how much more of my heart you know I think it might explode so I think I'm in a good place right now I'm not done fixing me mentally physically I'm not done so that means I'm not the best me that I can be so that's not fair you know I don't think to be the best you that you can be and be with the equal highest light. Not that I'm, everybody I've been with I want to bring to the light, but, you know, I always wound up in the darkness. So, I don't know. I'm just going to leave that one up to God. I'm good with things as they are. I'm good with my family, my friends, my daughter, the men that I, the one or two men. You now there's a couple of guys here that are really cool, and and I, my friends from high school still, and, and that's enough for me. 17 years of marriage. I'm not missing a damn thing right now, I'll tell you what. I see the most awful things in relationships. Awful. I, what I have seen in the past 10 years, I am not ready to nothing, but no one, period. So uh, just sit home, meditate, and be the light for my little pink bubble, and just, you know, validate that I'm reaching a few corners of the world, and I'm happy. Now I just got to, I know what the next step is. I'm not going to tell you all right now. But um, I see it, and it makes me happy, and it's going to make a lot of people happy. So, so I, all that I could say, I'm so tired, and my babies are bad shit tonight. They're really bad shit. I'm going to start a, a new page, and the symbol is going to be a bat and, and, and a crap emoji, and you're going to know it's me, bad shit, because that's how I feel a lot of the time. All right, you guys, you have a fabulous weekend. Sleep tight. Have a beautiful day. Tell somebody you love them. Immediately, if that's how you feel, don't let it go. It's so important what you say, and it's so important that you back it up with your actions. Trust me, it all counts. Be love, be light, peace. Thanks for listening. Good night, or good day. Bye-bye.